fifth dimension, beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the twilight zone. you for a mat. Oh, I don't have one. Well, doesn't matter. Good night. Aren't you going to jump? Why, do you want to watch? No, heavens no. But I was just thinking, if you aren't going to, perhaps you wouldn't mind giving me a lift into town? Come on. Well, thank you. planning to drink alone i was unless of course you'd like to join me i'd be delighted right. thank you very much for the drink mr uh, smith um, my name is douglas winter the douglas winter the editor <laughs> x editor wait why x it's a long sad story mr smith you wouldn't be interested would indeed you see, you are the reason that I've journeyed to Dansburg. You must be a creditor. Now, the fact is, I'm a newspaper man. I was hoping to secure a position with your paper. The courier is dead, Mr. Smith. You put me to work at once. I think we can save the courier. Show me. Pleasure. Not the latest model, but it's a good one. Now. Ah! Listen to it, huh? What's the matter? Matter? Why did you quit? Finished. That's impossible. See if you shall. Why would a man with your talent want to work for a hick paper like the Courier? Call it a challenge. Well, am I hired? You would be if I had a paper. But I haven't got one and there's no, no use kidding myself. This all belongs to the bank. They're ready to collect. How much would it take to pay them off? <laughs> Oh, roughly $4,861.23. Uh, I might be able to manage that. You want to make us a loan? Perhaps. newspaper editor in the world if you will fix your signature to this little document. I agree to relinquish my immortal soul in exchange for his services. <laughs> You're the devil. You know that the devil does not exist. True, true. Why not humor an old man? It'll mean such a lot to me. And if you don't sign it, it'll be admitting fear and belief. Devon. Uh, wake up. Have you seen this? These things just can't be happening. You've got to fire him. On what grounds? I don't know. Incompetence. Oh, come on. Now, you know he's a very competent line of type operator and a great reporter. He's running the newspaper now, not you. Him. He's him. doing a pretty good job of it, too, isn't he? We're selling out every edition. Oh, you're selling out more than that. At 11.30 tonight, this 
Jacqueline and Benson, former secretary to Douglas Winner, suffered grave injuries resulting from a head-on collision. But why, Jackie? What? I figure this story about your girlfriend would hurry things up. Now, if you decide to conclude the contract, you'll find this not sure than a bridge. <laughs> you to go away. No need to say another word, because I'm leaving of my own free will. You are? Certainly. My only request is that you drive me. I have no car. You know. Would you like me? All right. Jackie. Be back with another ticket, the Twilight Zone. 